When a child needs tube surgery, I always tell the parents, it's really not that big a deal. It's rather simple to do. It's probably more time consuming filling out the forms and doing the surgery. Sure. But there are different types of tubes, aren't there? There are. There's, um, there are different types of uh, physical tubes that are made, um, and uh, depending on the child's um, condition, uh, we, use, we do use dis different tubes. Um, there are um, uh, beveled tubes uh, that can be used. There are tubes that are uh, made out of different substances, uh, titanium for instance, which sometimes last longer in the eardrum. Uh, there are different configurations of tubes, T-tubes, uh, and, and it depends on the, the child's uh, um, condition, uh, and that determines what tube we use. Uh, if you put a tube in, how long do you think it's going to function, generally speaking? Generally speaking, the average life of a tube is about eight months, meaning um, um, what that means is the body uh, eventually will, will, will push the tube out of the eardrum, uh, and that just has to do with the natural healing process of the, the skin on the eardrum. Um, you know, you, the, the length of time can last longer, and some children will hold on to their tubes as long as two years. When you get to the two or three year mark, uh, we oftentimes think about removing the tubes um, uh, because it sometimes means the body won't uh, uh, get rid of them themselves. But a tube is like a small micro-sized perforation that we're creating, is that true? That's correct. It's a small so there is one mo small concern about it. Sometimes you can get a little waxy something growing called a cholestoma? Sure, is sure. Is that possible with tubes? Sure, uh, and uh, once the tube is in place, um, one problem that can happen is actually you can have a wax plug in the in the tube that can clog the tube. And that's one concern uh, with, with tubes, and that, that can be fixed sometimes with eardrops. And once the tube falls out, um, um, you can have one of the risks, and it's rare, is to have a persistent hole in the eardrum, and that's uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very small risk, but it's, it's, it's a real one. And is this colostoma type of thing, is, is, is concern about that? Is there a concern? Uh, it, it, can, it can cause a, a, an ear which, which will chronically drain. Um, at rare times it can cause a hearing loss that usually doesn't occur. Um, and sometimes it does need to be fixed down the road. And how is that fixed? It's fixed with a different surgical procedure, uh, which is an outpatient surgery called a tympanoplasty, which is a reconstruction of the eardrum. And that usually corrects it most of the time? It does.